There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you. Hey, you two! This is not good. you want from me? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait, don't go. Stay away. What the hell are you? What do you want? Black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. <laughs> Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never, ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. I'm with John. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. What out, Granny? No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? I guess someone should go with her. Really? I'd be okay on my own, but... Sure. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out. Which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through, and you find help, send them into town to find us.
Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Hold up. You hear that? guy from the bar on his bike stupid old drunk uh, somewhere around here there must be an easier way back up to the road let's move out you got an explanation for what we saw nothing that makes sense I do know there were witch trials in little hope around the same time as Salem what happened you can figure that out for yourself You okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there... You think that was really supernatural? It's sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking a look here. 
Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. Anyhow, there's no one here. You all done with poking around? We should catch up with the professor. He didn't stop to give any lectures here, did he? Professor? <gasps> there you are. That was crazy back there. Sorry I took off like that. I'm more twitchy than I thought. Thanks for coming after me. What the hell was that in there? It was nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it? What am I? In second grade? He's right. Get over yourself and move on. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Uh. P-51, 
piece of cake. You're up next. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. Wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Hey, it was a collective decision. We'll find another way. Are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. talking about get away or you will find me <gasps> come on out mary i know very well you're in there please no let me go i will release you once i'm sure you will not speak of our secret your childish games tire me you will respect me and you will say nothing. No! What is this? I need to get out of here right now. Do not find me here. Please. Who are you pleading with? Evil clings to you. That is plain to see. You are mistaken. I am a child. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. What the fuck? Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. 
Time to go. Right with you. I'm glad you're here. You're glad I'm here? Doesn't seem like that to me. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. The place must have been a grocery store or something. Let's just find another way. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. Let me see if I can get this open. Seriously? You're going in there? Unless you got a better idea you're keeping to yourself. Because your genius plans have worked out so well. I'm just throwing back the same shit you're shoveling. Real growing up, Daniel. Hey, I need your phone. What for? To call my mom. It's dark in there. I need a life. You want to leave me out here alone without a phone? Don't worry, I'll take good care of your precious phone. It'll make it through. Take it, but break it and it's your life. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so.
Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, I'll look for another way around. Hello? Who's there? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. How'd you get here anyway? Went around the side, through a fence. So I climbed into this haunted house for nothing. The gap in the fence wasn't so big. You would have got stuck. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Oh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Hold on, I'll be right there. Come on, we need a break here. Will you relax? I'm coming. troubles you. Tell me, what is happening? Sooner will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? We talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. What? Who the hell are you anyway? Silence! You'll not speak the devil's language in my home. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver, Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. 
She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. Where the hell have you been? You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? This was different. I think they could see and hear me. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? <sighs> I saw this woman being taken away. Arrested. <sighs> she was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl. She gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. The woman, Amy. I guess she's in deep shit then. Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What do you think? I'm not so sure we'll find anything useful in here. It's derelict. You students are all the same. Doom, gloom, and negativity. Never mind how it looks. All we need is one phone to still be hooked up. <sighs> this place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead. Just like the rest of Little Hope. Real nice. There's got to be something. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Line's dead. Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace.
is that? What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. I should not be here this day. I stand there falsely accused. By all that what I can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Okay, cool it, will you please? I can help you out here, but before I can do that, you need to tell me where you are. Push harder. Find out what the fuck is going on. I'm on it. Tell me exactly where you are. Are, are, you, are you in town someplace? Seen them approach, I, I reached out in fear. I did not know them. Their clothes and manner of speaking were not familiar to me. They spoke of things that I could not make sense of. I swear I do not know where he came from or what this man wanted of me. I could not make sense of the things he spoke of. You must believe me, I beg you. <laughs> I'm so falsely accused of crime. speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil words shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night, and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with you, kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. We just... Let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. I feel a chill in my bones. What manner of evil is this? The beast has his malevolent gaze upon us. His servant is among us. What the? Stay out of this. The supposed evidence against me is little more than spiteful imaginings. If there be darkness here among us, I will shine. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor no. creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're of? doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. 
Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your touch will release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. I don't think I can take much more of this. I think it's almost over. You are in no danger. They are here among us. They are here among us. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah, it was tough to watch for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. Uh, we can't either. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. <laughs> Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nothing that's gonna help us much, but I found this. It's kinda neat. I don't believe it. I saw this exact keychain in my dream. That's pretty weird. It's more than weird. It's significant. I just don't know how. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused, tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell?
This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double. Feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad. This fog is getting worse. Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. I can't see for shit. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor? You keep telling us you're in charge, so... Okay. Sure thing. Is it safe to cross? Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. Right, we'll, we'll get you over for sure. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, sixteen hundred and ninety two. We are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. I don't know how to help you. Tell me what I can do. Please, sir. You must help me. You must. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. <laughs> you cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for Holy. us all. Little hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. 
You know that better than any. In Lil Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by a cuter. While Mary still draws breath, Little Hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference to your very fate. Isaac. tell you what I just saw. Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned. I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. That was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. Well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. As the stakes seem to have been elevated, that gun might prove to be a lifesaver. Don't you think? Or the precise opposite? Andrew's keeping it quiet. Good move. Look after number one, right? The 
boys have some interesting theories. Maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory, that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? You're going it alone, brave, independent, possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it.